A lot of new VTubers feel like they need to constantly pump out new models, outfits, and toggles every month because that's how you get more exposure, and more exposure means more eyeballs on your stream, right? At least, that's what I've been told when asking about it on social media. But then, I could have sworn I seen on Twitter, <clears throat> I mean X, of a bunch of different VTubers making vague tweets about other VTubers who spent all that money just to get a slight boost, and now, all of a sudden, nobody can afford to pay rent. And that just confuses me, because why would anyone spend all of that money if they couldn't actually afford it? Hmm? There are definitely VTubers out there who are able to afford thousands, if not hundred thousands of dollars to fund their new models. And I'm not talking about the people who are doing back-to-back -back sub and donutons either. So if they're actually able to afford this, then that means they either have a really good paying job or they have a lot of experiences in running a business and have been investing their money properly. But that only answers half of these vague tweets that I'm always seeing because what about the other half? What's the point in spending all this money if you're allegedly only going to get a slight boost? I feel like there are better ways to invest your money into VTubing, but where do you start? Like, let's say you're a brand new creator. How much money should you actually be spending to start off VTubing the right way? Well, what if I told you that you only need to spend zero dollars? And just like that, I have made several VTweeters vague posts about me going off the rails just now. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm still relevant. Hey look, if you have the money and can afford to do that, then go for it. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you can do what makes you happy, sure. But if you're like me, where you either can't afford to do that, or you're afraid that you're gonna spend the money on the wrong stuff and be screwed, then you need to be careful because how you spend your money could easily make you end up being in a pretty bad financial situation. Or worse, you'll end up quitting altogether from burnout, but I'll explain more by what I mean by that later in this video because I have wasted so much money and time struggling to follow these unspoken rules like you need to buy an expensive model to grow because like i kid you not this like unspoken rule had convinced me that it would help me grow and well to be honest with you it didn't and if i could start over again i would because there's a lot of things that i would do so differently and you know what I'm gonna share this with you just in case if this ends up helping you so you don't make the same financial mistakes that I did. The first thing that I would do is get a quote unquote high quality model. Well, just like that, the video's over, right? Well, not really, because a high quality model doesn't mean an expensive model. I made a mistake thinking that expensive means it's better, you know? And the biggest lesson I learned from that mistake is buying an expensive model does not mean you're going to be successful. It might catch attention for a little bit, but if you want to hold that attention, then you're going to need to spend more effort in your creativity, not more money, which seems to be something that I see a lot of YouTubers running into trouble with is that they just keep spending more and more money to keep that momentum because they're, they think that's like, like, that's just how you do it. <laughs> so how can we get a high quality model if we aren't spending a lot of money? Like, what does high quality even mean? Well, to me, a high quality model means being expressive. But when I say expressive, I am not talking about having a bunch of toggles. Like, yeah, the toggles make it nice and stuff, but I, you don't need to have this. You don't need to have this. I'm talking about being able to convey your emotions through voice acting. The model is just a visual aid that can help convey that emotion better, but the majority of that emotion is felt through your voice. For example, if you're angry, I want to feel that anger. I want angy stuff. I want to hear that angy. Granted, the toggle helps, but still. A really great example of this are the talents at, who would have guessed it, Hololive, who, you know, their models don't have the most fluid movements. In fact, I remember, uh... Another VTuber named Cozy had pointed out how some of the models don't have, like, Angle Z rigged a certain way, like how most of VTubers, especially like the indie ones, have it. So it kind of makes their movements look a bit more stiff, but there's a reason for that. And yet somehow, with that type of movement, they are still able to convey what emotions that they are are having through their voice acting. Like this takes so much practice to get to this level of talent and you don't need to spend a lot of money to show off your personality to convey these types of emotions with your model. In my experience, I realized that I spent a lot of money 
and ended up wasting it because, well, I didn't really understand what I was spending my money on. Like, I kind of thought, yeah, I need these toggles. I need to be bouncy. I need to do this. And, you know, it's kind of funny how, like, a lot of people still really remember fondly of, like, my other model who doesn't even have, <laughs> who doesn't even have Angle X rigged on that model and yet people still found the emotions I was able to convey through that more fluidly than this one. I was saying that this one doesn't convey emotions but the, it, it didn't matter. Like spending this much money did not affect or make me a better voice actor, you know what I mean? Like I know that art commissions and video editing thumbnails and toggles and all that other stuff costs money. Like, I get it. Like, I'm not saying that you have to spend nothing. Like, I know I like joked earlier saying, yeah, you don't have to spend a lot of money. And I get the stuff costs money. You're paying people for their time and their effort. However, with that being said, I didn't know how important it was to have a solid plan with what you're going to spend your money on and why you either should or shouldn't spend it on that thing and then how you're going to utilize that thing that you're spending all this money on to enhance your content. Like, I just kind of rushed in and said, Oonga Boonga, big booba model physics, please. And now, like, you know, I'm sitting here scratching my head thinking, like, why haven't I grown? Like, and then, you know, worrying about how I'm going to pay rent in, like, two weeks. So, with that being said, that brings me to my biggest, I guess, kind of, like, mistake and regret, depending on how you want to look at this, when it came to like spending money on VTube. I wish I had waited to spend all of this money on a model because I didn't have a clear plan when I first started VTubing. And it took me four years of making content to finally realize what I want to do as a creator. And sometimes like I'm still sitting here trying to figure out what other things I really want to do because there are so many things that you can do for VTubing, just VTubing. And like, I don't know, but I, I just, I got tired of constantly listening to other people saying, I need to do this or making me feel like I should be doing this because that's what every other YouTuber does. And it just works, right? Like I have struggled so much with FOMO because I used to have friends telling me how important it is to commission an expensive, famous artist. And then you need to get a lot of art commissions, high quality art commissions to post on social media because that's just what you do if you want to grow. And if you don't do these things, then you can't expect to have any growth. And like, that is how every big indie VTuber blew up. And just this really influenced me, not in a good way, by the way, when I was making big financial decisions on my career. And it's because like, I just, I really wanted to make my friends like happy and impress them. And I wanted to fit in. Very bad bad way to go about spending your money, right? Honestly, if I had to start over completely from scratch, I would have spent my money buying an affordable pre-bane model and then taking more time practicing and improving my content. Like it took me several years to figure out that I don't really like live streaming as much as I like making YouTube videos. Like, don't get me wrong. I do like streaming, but I really like making YouTube videos. My passion is making the best possible video and inspiring other VTubers, like helping people. But I can't do that if, well, I put all of my eggs in this live streamer basket and like, that's just for me personally. I, I had to try to figure myself out. For all I know, you could really like live streaming. That could be your passion. And like, that's great, but how will you ever know if you never give yourself the chance to just start making content because you're too busy trying to spend all this money and just waiting around? Like, I don't know about you, but I've seen quite a bit of VTubers spend a lot of money on a big fancy debut and then they graduate three months later because they either, you know, fell off or worse, they realized that they didn't even like making content in the first place. And that is just sad. That is just... That is just really, really sad. I feel like figuring out yourself could save you a lot of time and stress because it took me four years to figure myself out. And well, that's just for my VTubing content because I, I, you know, like I, I was a Twitch streamer for like an additional four years before becoming a VTuber. So it has taken uh, what almost like, oh God, almost nine years of me to kind of figure myself out. Nine years. Oh my God, nine years. I'm ready to invoke my senior citizens discount for the Twitch streamers out there. Sheesh. And I'm still not even partner yet. I know it's really tempting to spend all of this money. Like I, I do, 
I'm not trying to like dunk on people who have spent all of this money. I am not trying to make you feel bad because remember, I did it too. And like, I understand how exciting it is because you know, like when I was commissioning this model, like I was super excited. I was like, you know, this is this is gonna be it. This is gonna be my year. And it's because like, I'm finally, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally commissioning like an ex a very high profile artist. And like, it's something that I'm finally doing the VTuber thing. But, like. I really, really wish I had someone tell me so much earlier on in my career to just wait, to just wait a minute and think more carefully about this because like, I honestly could have used that spending on something else. And well, it probably would have cost me less money and overall stress for me. As much as I like this model, this model is beautiful. It really is. It is something that I feel like I should have spent more time thinking about before committing to. Like, I feel like I would have been better off for me personally focusing on spending money on concept art maybe script writing like having like someone help me with my scripts or project management sponsorship outreach or even like content ideation i know not everything is going to fit everyone so honestly like the pieces of advice that i've been saying take what resonates with you and leave the rest of it behind but if you have been stuck wondering how to move forward or get started on your vtubing journey then feel free to join the Discord and ask some questions. There's lots of us in here who are more than willing to help you out. And if you would like to support this channel and my content, then consider buying some gamer subs by using my code Mari for 10% off on your entire order because right now we are having the biggest gamer sub sale by having Christmas in July where you can get a free gift with every tub purchase. And yes, I really appreciate it when people use my code because it really does help me and continue to support me being able to make more content on this channel so thank you also remember earlier in the video when i said a high quality model doesn't mean an expensive model like i didn't just say that for like and giggles and for some more exposure on the bird app i mean you know i i, I mean part of that but like look as controversial as that take is i said that because we both know that having a high quality model simply means making the most out of it. Regardless if you spent a thousand dollars or one or or one dollar on it, you have to make the most of that. And that doesn't mean just doing one thing with it. Like there are multiple different things that you can do when you're spending money on this. But in order to understand how to make the most out of your model, well, that's where having an expensive VTuber concept comes in. Oh no, I'm using the word expensive, so clearly that means money, right? Well, no. Not necessarily, like you might be thinking, okay, well, what does that even mean? Well, I'm not talking about spending a lot of money on more artwork per se. I'm talking about like the overall perception of your entire concept, AKA your branding. Because remember, everything reminds you of something. And if your branding doesn't remind people of something, then well, you're going to be remembered for, well, nothing so now how do you get an expensive vtuber concept hmm i mean if you're curious about that i guess let me know in the comments section down below because this is kind of like something that's new to me that i'm still exploring and learning more about so if you have any questions about it please feel free to ask and i'll try my best to answer it in a future video thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye